I think it's becoming very apparent to you that the Wagner technology is very easy to use and very fast. You can rapidly get a lot of readings on a piece of lumber and get a very good indication with very little work of what the true moisture content is of that piece of lumber. Let's just use an example here. Let's take this junk piece of lumber again that I have and I have the Wagner meter on and it's as easy as putting it on the piece and again we're getting a, a, a reading well into the piece and I can easily scan along the piece of this lumber getting the moisture content of that piece easily. No matter the length of the lumber it's very fast but if I had to do the same thing with a pin meter using this as an example, very common example stab and I have to be again at the correct depth stab it again stab it again and continue in that manner by the time I'm finished with a 16 foot board I've either had a lot of exercise or I'm very tired or both so with Wagner technology we don't have that problem over the years we've had customers that have had used pin meters moved to Wagner technology and they stated that it is easily 10 to 20 times faster to get moisture readings in a piece of lumber than using a pin meter. So we've seen how easy it is to use a Wagner meter to quickly scan a piece of lumber and get the true average moisture content of that piece of lumber and how difficult it is to even approximate that with a pin type meter. Not only that, but pins break and they are not inexpensive to replace. So when you're using a pin meter and you have a pin break and you have to reorder, that costs you money of course, and it is frequent, especially in hard wood, for those pins to break. So that's not very convenient and you don't want to be replacing pins all the time. Some of you out there not only do woodworking or make flooring, uh, maybe install floors, but also actually do some of your own, maybe your own sawmilling and kiln drying in small kilns. And when you're kiln drying lumber, of course, you have a higher temperature in that kiln. You're trying to get that lumber dry, create that environment so that the moisture is coming out of the wood. Well, one of the key features of Wagner's electromagnetic wave technology is that it is virtually unaffected by the temperature of the wood in these type of drying applications that you might get involved in. But with pin type meter resistance technology, they are very affected by changes of temperature above and below 70 degrees Fahrenheit and that will cause and can cause a big change in the readings. So if your lumber is pretty warm in that 120, 140 degree category, you have to have a correction factor for those readings with a pin meter. Otherwise, you're not getting a correct reading. But with the Wagner technology, again, it is virtually unaffected by that phenomenon because it is not a resistance technology. Now let's talk about repeatability and stability of the readings that you get with a Wagner meter. Let's take uh, the meter again. I'll turn it on here. Put it on our piece of nice flooring. I'm going to hold it up for the camera. And we're getting a reading of the moisture content of that wood. With pin type moisture meters, when you first put the pins in the wood and you're reading it on the meter, and this is a, a, apart from the fact that you may also have a cable, and I'll talk about that in just a minute, that is attached to a, some kind of a hammer type probe or something similar to this. But even if you don't have that, what happens with a pin meter is the reading will tend to drift a little bit with time in the wood. It's just a phenomenon of measuring the moisture content using a resistance technology. But let's just talk about another phenomenon when you have a cable that's attached actually to this uh, hammer device and it's plugged into a meter. Not only do you have that other phenomenon with drift in the reading with a pin meter, 
but also movement of the cable itself can cause a change in the reading because it's just an analog signal and that can be a problem. So you don't have the stability often with a pin type moisture meter that you do with a Wagner non-pin technology. So let's just wrap up with the main advantages of Wagner's electromagnetic wave technology and why they've become so popular over the years. First of all, scanning completely into the piece of lumber giving you a true average moisture content of that piece of lumber. And not only that, doing it very quickly, 10 to 20 times faster on a piece of lumber by just easily scanning that piece of lumber. Number three, you're not putting unsightly holes in the wood, and that's big if you're a woodworker. Number four, you don't have the problem with pins breaking and having to replace those pins, and you don't have to worry about being depth specific with pins because you don't have any with Wagner technology. And if you are doing kiln drying of your own wood, and the temperature of that wood is fairly warm, and it, or by the way, if it's outside and it gets very cold, you have a big temperature effect with pin type meters, but again, not with Wagner technology, no temperature effect virtually at all when you're measuring the moisture content of wood that's above or below 70 degrees Fahrenheit. The uh, Wagner website has a lot of good information that can help you decide which moisture meter is best for your application. So feel free to access that Wagner website. That's www.wagnermeters.com and you'll find a lot of valuable information there. I trust that this video has been informative for you. Thanks for watching.